Hi everyone, it's Andrew here. In today's video I'm going to be making basically about my home PC and just general maintenance with it. Um, I've had my PC now for probably over a year easily and I'm really bothered cleaning it as such internally and what it'll eventually be doing is building up dust and heat and what I'm going to be doing hopefully in this video is showing you the results of what good PC maintenance can do uh, towards your overall health of your computer and just generally what it's like in terms of performance and temperatures uh, in its current condition and then what it'll be like afterwards in this video itself uh, I'm going to be, uh, what I've done beforehand is uh, I've updated all the motherboard and graphics drivers as well just so I've got a baseline I was going to do it in safe mode but a couple of drivers were not load so I've just created a basic admin account um, load no other software just basic logon profile I've opened up the monitoring programs I'm going to be using tech power up which monitors the GPU uh, with the graphics card the temperature speeds the sensors the memory usage uh, core temp which monitors all the processor cores at once uh, CPU Z which is monitoring the CPU again I'm going to be using Piriform Speccy which is just shows the overall um, overall information on my hardware such as my motherboard and all the hard drives at once I've currently got I think it's four or five hard drives installed uh, four looking at that and I'm going to have, I'm going to run a Prime 95 s s s torture test I can't remember which one it is now I think it's the s one which measures them all uh, blend I'm going to be using the blend test and I've disabled the safety uh, I can't remember what it's called now I've disabled the safety overheat protection for core temp so it won't shut down the PC although I am going to be timing it um, thermal the thermal temperature range of the processor I've got which is an AMD X4640 uh, the maximum range I believe is 15 I think it was 59 to 71 or 51 to 71 degrees Celsius one and two so once it hits about 68 degrees I'm probably going to stop the test at the end of the day, I don't want to burn out my bloody CPU. Um, I'll see how long it takes to get there with the test itself, and then we'll do a baseline comparison against these results, and we'll clean the PC. I'm going to be using thermal paste, compressed air, and we'll be obviously doing a bit more airflow work on the PC and install a new fan, um, just a standard six-inch cooling fan or whatever uh, from a castle. And then we'll see if that made any overall change to the uh, results. So we'll go from the test there. And as you can see, um, what we have in the test here is just this to record. That's currently the ambient air temperature in my room, which is 21 degrees Celsius. Oh, probably not dropping the camera at the same time. Try and get that in shot again. There you are, so you can see 21 degrees Celsius ambient air temperature in this room. Now, we'll just tape off that. I'll set me stopwatch. Cock. I don't use my bloody phone that much, I can barely remember where anything is. Extras, cover that in a spreadsheet. Bloody annoying webcam as well. Stopwatch. Right, so the stopwatch is ready. I'm just going to quickly stop my bloody webcam because it's annoying the crap out of us now. Right, so as we can see on this, nothing's running at the moment. There's our baseline temperatures, our baseline processor speed, sorry. And you can see graphics, GT240 graphics cards, memory, main board, blah de blah de blah. Right. So there we go, there's our baseline temperatures, 35, 32 degrees Celsius on the, sub, the can't get my tongue in there, on the uh, graphics card, uh, we have a baseline temperatures of 34 degrees Celsius on the processors, as you can see down there. I've also got the speed fan, speed fan running, I forgot to mention that, that's speed fan down there. I knew there was one I wasn't shown. Um, so there we go. As you can see, they're all on the screen now. When this decides to play. God, this camera.
how many shot in the day. Uh, where's my macro? Probably haven't turned the bloody macro on, like, like an idiot. Blame ball, so I still wasn't blame ball, so I just turned the uh, macro on. So as we can see, uh, we're gonna. Where are we at? Dum, dum, dum. Right, so as you can see, stopwatch yeah, is currently at zero. We're going to go options, torture test, blend, lots of RAM tested. We'll click OK and press start. So as you can see, it's running now. There's the processor in all its cores. Graphics card temperature. See, there's the temperature sensors for me uh, hard drives, my motherboard, etc. Processors is 50 already. I'm expecting it to go high, but as I've mentioned, I'm not going to run it fast. Stupidly hot, because obviously I don't want my PC to burn out. So I'll just get it ready to stop the test. So as we can see, we are less than one minute into the test already. Process is already at 57 degrees Celsius. I'll run it up to 70 and then I'll stop. Uh, we also have the the graphics card is currently 32 degrees Celsius. Me hard drives are at 40. Um, what else do we have? What else we got? 32 degrees. Processor at 61. Motherboard motherboard is at 33. Graphics card 33, hard drives averaging of 40. Um, with 64 degrees on the processor now. Uh, my hard drives, which is actually at the bottom of my case, is actually hotter than the ones at the top, believe it or not. Uh, so, obviously, the airflow is a lot more room up there, so I might even install it somewhere else. But looking at this, it, towards the top of the case gets better ventilation than the bottom, which proves why I need a cooling fan at the bottom as well. So now I'm hitting 65 on the processor. Um, not really a temperature I like personally, but I'll just let it run for this test. We are 1 minute 45 seconds into the test. All cores are 100% loaded. Uh, processor run at 3 gigahertz, which is its maximum. 64 degrees on the CPU. No change as yet. So it could be 64, it could be the maximum temperature on mine, so, oh no, there we go, 65, tell a lie. Dun dun dun, 64. Currently at 2 minutes and 16 seconds on this test. So is 64 going to be the maximum, is 64, 65 going to be the maximum temperature on mine, or is it going to get hotter? So it looks like looking at this, 65 is the hottest temperature we can get on this PC. Um, I should run this test for longer on the burning, but I'll just run it there. I'll stop it at three minutes. So as you can see, 65, 64. I'll monitor this for about 10 minutes. So stop it at three minutes there. I'm on this for another 10 minutes before I start taking apart the PC and running the final temperatures. So we'll stop this here and then we'll come back in about 10 minutes time. It's currently at 9.15 on the 20th of December, 65 degrees for all them. And uh, we'll run this from here and we'll continue in a short while. The test is pretty much finished now, it's been it's at 9.24. Uh, temperatures have been stable, I haven't went over 65 degrees Celsius, so that looks like our maximum. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure on is these keep alternating here, I'm not sure if that's the way the test is, if the Prime 95 test works, if it alternates it between cores all the time, or if that's a, a um, issue with my CPU itself. The voltages itself on my CPU keep alternating between 1 volt and 1.3 volts, so I don't know, but... I'll find out when I post these results anyway, but uh, that's just a report that the temperatures are stable at the moment. Uh, there's no overheating from that point. Obviously the uh, hard disks are going up slightly, the ones at the lower, high, lower bit of the case. Uh, it always is, I think there's a 
temperature issue because of one of them before said 127 on my old PC so I think there's a temperature issue there either that or the temp 3 whatever this is reporting on is severely screwed over so we'll have a look at our smart diagnostics um, no not smart where was it exotics I think I think it's exotics what reports your temperatures I'll stop this prime 95 test because it doesn't look like it's going to go over 65 so we'll stop that so what causes there uh, reducing now so 57 so we'll let that finish off that should finish shortly uh, get rid of all that close that close that close that and uh, there's no right oh there we go show the magic I'm just blind to the git right so 80 degrees is what's that temp doesn't tell me what 80 degrees is naturally just says 80 degrees so that could be anything I don't believe it's the core temperature of the CPU because it's um everything's been hovering around these these ones these are the same uh, where is it V core that's the health status of my hard drives by the looks of it so there we go right so we've done that uh, I'll shut down this PC now and we will come back once I've cleaned it and we'll do some diagnostics. So we shut that down. Uh, that's, the, that's the first part of this test over with. What I'm going to do now is close the PC down. Um, give it a good clean. Uh, put some new thermal grease on. Uh, install the new cooling fan and do, some bit, do a bit of air duct and get rid of the dust. And then obviously we'll do this Prime 95 test again for another 10 minutes. And hopefully we should see a result. Alright everyone, it's Andrew. So uh, following on from the test there, we can see that the PC itself was getting stupidly hot. Um, and the aim of this test is just to prove that regular maintenance on your computer will eventually um, lead to a healthier PC and obviously reduced temperatures. Um, I've got my PC disassembled, well not disassembled, well I've removed it from the bottom of my desk now. Um, I haven't cleaned it or anything yet, this is just to show the condition of it is after accumulating the dust and Obviously, we'll have a look inside before we do any work on it. So, I don't know if you can't see that much in this picture, but as you can see, there's uh, dust on the intake fan for the CPU. There isn't many um, fans on this either, by the way, so it's exactly it's help. We've got dust here by the uh, side, side ports. Oh, I forgot about that, actually. Side ports for the um, front of the case. It's Cooler Master Elite. Uh, I think it's a 310 or 315, I can't remember, not really much, we've got a front intake here, um, if we go to open up the case, you can see all I've got cooling wise is a shroud to, to direct heat away from the CPU, which personally I don't think it'll actually do it, and I think it's a waste of time, um, the inside of the case you can see I've got a CPU here, the cooling fan is quite clogged up there, rear external fan. I'm going to remove the shroud as well with this because the shroud's actually partially blocking uh, the heat from the CPU anyway. Um, obviously you've got my graphics card. You can see me lay out my hard drives. I literally just dumped them in. Um, so I'm going to put them all there. Obviously I've got the wiring as well. The wiring is going to restrict airflow within the case so I don't have any velcro or tie straps or anything like that so I'll just use some electrical insulation tape just for now and I'll put these all to one side. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that way, I'll have a try. Do, do, do. I don't know where that way, but you can probably see under there there's a bit of dust on the fan as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take it out. I'm going to take it out, um, remove this fan, and then install another one of these on the front of the case, hopefully. Yep, some uh, mountain points here, so I'll, I'll do one to draw air across the hard drives. And do it in a push, uh, like a push pull configuration. Uh, so air's being pushed that way and pulled. Uh, so what was it? So we have air being pushed in this way and pulled out that way. So one fan's in reverse. Um, PC itself doesn't need a bit of a clean. All the hard drives will probably be down here, out the way, and then we'll tidy it up. So and what I'm gonna do once I've uh, finished this clean up, I am gonna be taking pictures of it as well, just to do an update on my website, but. Um, once I've finished this I'll be doing another test on the 
benchmarking tools just to see what the overall effect is on the PC and we'll see if we've made any improvement. I'm going to be putting on some new thermal grease uh, which is Arctic Silver 5 I think. Yep, so there we have some Arctic Silver 5. I'm going to be cleaning it with compressed air and installing a new um, 6 inch fan, something like that. And then obviously tie wrapping up with some electrical insulation tape so we'll get this uh, out the way and we'll go from there. Hi hey, everyone, it's Andrew here. I've uh, finished cleaning out the PC now. I've done a bit of cable tidying, or a bit rather. This little uh, ball of fluff, our little monster here, is part of the reason why the PC heats up so much. Um, I've powered up the PC now and logged on as the uh, generic admin account I'm using. Um, the current ambient temperature in this room is slightly colder this time, it's 18 degrees Celsius. Um, and as you can see on the PC, it's idling at the moment, last time it was all 30. Uh, the current idle temperature now is about 20 degrees Celsius, so we've already shaved about 10 degrees off there. Um, I haven't done the Prime, the Prime 95 test yet. Stopwatch will be started in options torture test. So again, we're doing a blend test. Um, as you can see, again, we're doing a blend test. And when this comes out, put that in the start. Three, two, one, go. So starting the blend test now. So we'll see how well it helps me core temperature again. Oh, I caught in there. So there's me uh, CPU temperature there. Maximum was getting was 65 before. I'm hoping to get this about 50 maybe this time. Uh, I think it was within about one minute it was already hitting the maximum temperatures. This is actually the first time I've run this test now, so I don't know what temperature it's going to be. Um, hopefully it doesn't burn out to death. Obviously we can see on the uh, temperature monitor from Speti by Piriform. CPU temperature, my motherboard is currently 29, I think it was 33 last time. Graphics card was 32 last time. Um, hard drives, the wall average about the same temperature now. Um, the top ones were slightly cooler than the bottom ones. I think the bottom ones were about 40, the top ones were about 36 or something like that. Uh, and obviously the usual gum, we'll just let this run at the moment. I'll just, uh, what I've done is on the PC, I've, uh, as I've discussed, I've stripped out every component. I took some photos anyway, because I'll probably put them on my website. Um, I've, uh, see if you use it, 29%. Um, I took some photos, I've removed the CPU shroud, um, put in that secondary fan in a push-pull configuration, so it uh, pushes air in across the hard drive. Uh, what I've done is I've also relocated all the hard drives at the bottom of the case and put the first fan in front of them so it pushes cool air over the hard drives. And then I've tried to do a bit of cable tidying, it's a bit hard because I've got uh, a couple of IDE hard disks in there and the bloody cable gets in the way as well. And also me uh, powers the the power supply isn't fully modular, so it makes it a bit hard. Um, uh, obviously I've cleaned out all the dust and that little demon will be going in the bin. I'm just going to find the bin again. There we go, to the bin. Um, what else did I do? Put new, I removed all the thermal paste off the processor and I reapplied it again. Normally when you put thermal paste on you put a little pea sized dot um, and the pressure off the CPU is supposed to uh, spread it over what it needs. When I found it, I, when I applied it, it did do that, but I did another approach where I used a. Once I'd done that, I basically um, got some cling film, put it on my finger, and then just spread it out so there was equal, so there was coverage all over the CPU. Um, that way, I just wanted to get some coverage so everything was clean. Cleaned out the. I, dis I disassembled the GPU card, cleaned that out and remove the fan off the CPU, remove the heat sink, cover, absolutely get rid of all the dust, clean the motherboard and case and as mentioned cable tidied. 
Uh, I've been talking for three minutes now. Um, the temperature on the CPU is hovering at a steady 50. So looking at this, it looks to be impressive so far. We've saved off about an average of uh, 15 degrees Celsius just from cleaning out the PC and uh, getting rid of all the dust. Um, and obviously uh, overall improvement looks to be a lot better now. Uh, I'd just like to mention if um, what I'm going to do as well actually before, before I mention it um, which I've just completely forgotten. Once I've finished recording this video and upload uh, I'm going to um, put a comment on showing the final temperature after about an hour's worth of usage. Uh, it's currently 13.32 just to prove it, making this time of video, it's 13 32, um, so it'll be about 3 o'clock uh, once I've finished this upload because I'm going to make some interviews. I'm going to run this test and about 3 o'clock I'm going to see what the temperature is like of the process and then just put a comment on my video because uh, obviously I'll run Prime for around 3 minutes and it was already hitting stupidly high temperatures where I want to run for about an hour to see if it crashes or anything. And I'll just put it as a little comment on the final upload of video, just as confirmation that it's been successful with cleaning. Um, if not, my house is burnt down. But and uh, obviously, yeah. So final comments: it's it is worth cleaning them. Always look after your PC, and it's not that hard to do. All you need in terms of tools are what I used was a um. I'll just, I'll just move that. What I used in terms of tools we just this uh, dust brush it's basically just um just for getting rid of the dust obviously uh, we had some arctic silver 5 cpu paste um compressed air and screwdriver and then just as a bit of cable tidying pair of scissors and you can either use velcro or zip tie